welcome, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Shoot Brothers, Shoot Sisters, do the Shoot Brothers Wrestling Podcast. Yes, do the Shoot Dance, if you know the it. Shoot, the Shoot Fam. Shoot fam, fam Jam. Yeah. Um, we are back, uh, folks, it's episode 10 you're listening to. We, uh, we're, this, is, this is day one of the regular season. Kind of, yeah. Uh, it's almost like... I don't know. This is almost like the because the, the Raw and SmackDown after Mania, they kind of feel connected. And then next week's the shake up and everything's fresh then. So who knows? This is like a victory lap before. This, the, yeah, this is the quick little victory lap. Maybe next <laughs> week is the uh, is is the big important. Th- um, yeah, the superstar shake up, which uh, Mont- in Montreal. Fun place. Yeah, fun place for that Montreal, be. that'll be yeah, that'll be a fun crowd there. Uh, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, they're going to get big pops. But. That's a week away. We're going to finish up what we got here. That's dangerous, right? I feel like uh, I feel like us Canadian fans are a little more harsh, if that's the right <laughs> word. You know, well, uh, they're, they're we, passionate. We were, they're on we the nose. Booing, we were booing Bailey in a, in a <laughs> yeah. face run. So uh, I, 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 I think, think that we're, we, maybe we just can't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing it for Bailey's, um, for Bailey's betterment, though, like. We weren't happy with the direction her character was going in, so we're like, "Yeah, we need Bailey to be better, badder, I mean, we bossier." We need Bailey to be better and badder. And uh, cut to like two and a half years later, and uh, yeah. I don't know if you watch Monday Night Raw, but I think oh yeah, we, we'll, I think, we'll get I to that think, match. I, but that could... I liked what I saw, but I think, uh, I yeah, think right I think something that, like that could be happening soon. Apparently, there was two injuries at WrestleMania. <sighs> injuries. Yeah, AJ Styles and his match with Orton did something to his hip or his leg or, I don't know, Dave Meltzer said he saw him limping around the airport after, so. Uh-oh, okay. And then Ronda Rousey apparently broke her hand in the main event at some yeah, point. Yeah, I rewatched The Fall, uh, yeah, because Matt, uh, my roommate, came in and told me. I'm like, no, I didn't hear that. And yeah. he showed me the video. She falls awkwardly when she was coming out of that arm bar off the ropes, I think. Yeah, I don't know was. exactly when it happened, but um, yeah, either way. Not that... Uh, I mean, if she was going to get injured, that's pretty good timing because I don't think she was going to be around for a little while, anyways. So, man, people have been—they—they've been talking about that finish on the. Uh, I'm not usually one to to maneuver myself around <laughs> the forums and stuff. I certainly don't, and and just, yeah, I certainly I, I don't like all the all the inside dirt, right? But you know, I have you you have yeah. those couple things that you do listen to, or you do you know you trust their journalism. Yeah, and uh, that seems to be the talk of the town is uh is this finish and what 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 was happening what was happening this finish was it supposed to happen that exact way i think everything except for just ronda slightly getting her shoulder up i think everything else was exactly they planned it yeah i'm just i've cuz i've heard reports of like ronda rousey's people didn't want her to tap out to the disarmer which was the finish that we all thought was coming but uh like they didn't want the the image of Ronda tapping out to be like remembered by right. It was just like it. it that's where that's where the pin felt overwhelming. I think kind of in that match we talked yeah. about it in our last uh, the episode we just did two days ago <laughs> to, <laughs> to recap all this stuff off. Yeah, no, I think they just did it to keep that on the table. Yeah. So that because we do we do still have that Becky Ronda one on one that we never did get. So I mean. It seems That'll be we- the final final curtain call of that feud, and maybe that's when she can tap out. That's a good point, because it really does seem just the way... I mean, Be- Becky doesn't have another finisher that's not the Disarmor. Right? Yeah. She, that- she, has the, she has her, like, backsploder, her backsploder. Yeah, but she doesn't really pin. The only time she ever gets pinfalls is, like, a roll-up or, yeah, like this. But mm-hmm. I saw an interview with Becky, just, like, yesterday or something, when they asked her about the main event finish. She's like, ah, oh, you know, at the end of the day, I pinned Ronda. She says wrestling's fake, and I beat her with a wrestling maneuver. So there you go. So there you go. I guess. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> And she's the man, double uh, champ, champ, whatever. What's her uh, Becky? No. Becky yeah, two belts. <laughs> Becky two belts because they're not allowed to say champ, champ. She said it like five times. Did she? Yeah, she said champ, champ. I know that's Conor McGregor's thing, but I, they, they seem like they're buddies. Conor was proud of her. Well, that's On true. Twitter, they're, he said they're something. Irish. Ah, like, oh, so... my Irish loss. <laughs> but Irish, anyways, so they, so enough they have about that. Uh, they have that in common, at least. <laughs> yeah. Folks, let's kick off with um, the Raw After Mania. It's always an exciting. It's always an exciting show. Yeah, hot crowd back at the Barclays. Uh, yeah, still in Brooklyn, still in New York. 
Still in Brooklyn, still in New York. Um, yeah. yeah, there's lots of uh, visitors from overseas there. Uh, okay, so we kick off the show um, No, none other than our newly crowned Universal Champion, Seth Rollins. The Beast Slayer. The Beast Slayer. He, bur- he burns it down. He does yeah, his... Yeah, title's back. Title's back on Raw. The, full so ti- can... the full-time champ, all, the, all that kind of stuff, which is great, which was cool, because yeah. y- you and I have seen the Universal Championship, but like we are part of a, a, a actually pretty small group of people. <laughs> it's like fucking... Well, the title's been around for like three years now, and they can now they can finally start to build it up a bit because it's just been held hostage the last <sighs> two years. Fuck. If Seth Rollins gets cancer, I swear <laughs> to God. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> then it's just a cursed, then cursed it's just title a cursed at that point. Title, yeah. It's either like Brock Lesnar <laughs> holds it, or you get cancer. <laughs> yeah, the... or you're you injure yourself the day you win Man, it. Man, like that's now, a or... that's a real tough booking decision, right? If you're booking that belt, it's like, okay, either you give it to Brock Lesnar or you give it to somebody else. But <laughs> that person will get cancer. Yeah, it's in cursed. like six months, and Vince McMahon's just sitting there going, like, well, <laughs> yeah, who wants the belt? Who wants the I... belt, Seth? Yeah, you want it bad enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so fucking Seth Rollins comes out. Michael Cole's voice is shot. Mm-hmm. He was he was struggling here at the beginning of the show. He had to talk for like he had to talk like, oh, for uh, kind of uh, eight uh, hours <laughs> eight hours yesterday. Yeah, the day prior. Uh, yeah, before Rollins can even say anything though, the crowd's chanting "You deserve it," and Seth's just like, "No, we deserve it." So yeah, thank you, Rollins. Uh, he just talks about the journey, how long he wanted to hold the title, the match against Brock, and his his questionable tactics. And then the full time champ chant starts up. That's a good one. That should yeah. be a shirt for him. Just full time champ. Full time yeah, champ. What we want. Uh, yeah. And then he hears about Heyman and Lesnar flying out to Vegas for some meetings right after. He says, I hope you stay in Vegas. The crowd's like, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Seth's going to be the champ that they want, and he's going to be a defending champion. And that's, that's when we great. get interrupted by the New Day. What are they doing on Raw? What are they doing on <laughs> Raw indeed? Well, uh, of course, the Kofi Kingston celebration was the next night. But uh, tonight, Kingston is so inspired by the main event of the WrestleMania match. He uh, he wants a winner-take-all match. Champ yeah. v. Champ versus uh, Seth Rollins. So that's uh, that's going to be our main event. Yeah, this was some crazy shit. New Day was still fired up. But Big E pulled a full-on split, which the crowd popped big for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, he proposes the winner take all match, and Seth accepts the challenge. So right away, I'm like, no, this ain't gonna end clean. They're not something's gonna happen. But either way, exciting main event. Big, but I, uh, but I know, I, I, for a second there, for a second there, you're sitting I mean, there being like, there's always a possibility. There's always a possibility. I mean, yeah. you know, I was gonna watch. <laughs> if ever there's a, you know, if, if if ever there's a time to subtly end the brand split. <laughs> just yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Get just combine or, everything at combine once. Combine everything else, and then you're good, right? Like they could make that happen somehow. Have have yeah. Black and Ricochet win both the tags, and then suddenly, yeah. <laughs> uh, suddenly the belts are merged. Okay, so we're gonna have that as our main yeah, event. That's a big main event. Kofi says no shield, no new day, just one on one, title for title. So there you go. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Um. Next so up, got- though. Yeah, another title match of the night. Uh, another title match, yeah. Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins in a rematch versus The Revival. I thought we weren't supposed to do these immediate rematches anymore. Weird. You're but, right. But, uh, oh, I feel oh, like well, quick roll first up I was and, uh, Hawkins and Ryder actually retained it. Yeah, I was worried. Like, oh, no, they're going to lose it after a day. But, no, it was. Uh, they had an even match. Dawson hit that brain buster again. But, um uh, yeah, eventually Hawkins snuck in a tag without the Revival realizing, so they hit the Shadow Machine on Ryder. Hawkins sneaks up and does another roll-up. So that's like his finishing move is the roll-up. The roll-up so finisher. successfully defended great. their winning streak now. He has this two, is... straight, uh, two straight wins. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to hit the 200 or whatever, but uh, yeah, let him keep it for a month or something and exactly. see how it goes. Get him closer to 50-50. Um, well, yeah, I think next week's. This is also it's 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 weird that this. Uh, I find it's weird that this Raw after Mania, and of course the SmackDown after Mania. I find it weird that they don't superstar shake up right now. Uh, I guess they just don't want to overload. Like some years they've done it because it seems the next like night. there's like this like uh, I don't want to say an empty week, but there's a week where. Yeah. Well, th- yeah. This week, like everyone was just showing up everywhere. We, really yeah, mean. we we sort of stand in an odd thing right now because everyone's just everywhere. You're like, wait, <laughs> wait, what's happening yeah. right now? What's happening right yeah. now? Who- I think this week is just kind of yeah, free pass. Anything's fucking insane. 
Titles can go anywhere, anytime, any place. But fuck it. And in a way, that is kind of the exciting thing. I mean, this happened during uh, which one? I think it happened during SmackDown. As soon as I saw Braun Strowman during SmackDown, I was not yeah. excited at all. <laughs> but uh, I was thinking about how it could work in the other way. In the other way, if you're just watching Raw and then AJ Styles showed up, you'd be like, "Hell yeah, man! Like, why? Why not? Yeah, it's the same yeah. world we all universe we all live in. Let's, you know, what I'm saying." Yeah, no, like saying? Kofi showing up here tonight for a WWE title match. That was good, good surprise. Exactly. Yeah, there there are good there are good surprises too. Right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna get that match later. Um, oh no! Wow, fuck, we moved on. Yeah. yeah. So Hawk and yeah, Dryer yeah. retain. Congratulations. Boom. There you go. Boom. Um, Baron Corbin. Yeah. Boo. He has that his little greasy little son of. A... He was wearing like yeah. a little patch today. Did you see that? I didn't really notice. He, it. he had a little like a uh, patch, on, a like little on patch his on his, yeah, on his or, or his, on his, like, his belly or something. Uh, on his belly, <laughs> <laughs> I think so. He's well, such a buffoon. Uh, oh. He is, yeah. So he's out here for his little victory celebration. He's mocking the crowd. They call him asshole, and then they say, a, "There's a shut the fuck up" chant at one point. So Barb and Corbin's just like, "Yeah, real classy, you dirty New Yorkers." New Yorkers. And then, yeah, Kurt Angle comes out. So yeah, one day after retirement, he's already back on television. Yeah, but he but he's back in jeans and a t shirt. I know. So he's it's a, not exactly like. A <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, go. Angle admits that last night Corbin was the better man. His career's over now, and he he wishes Corbin all the luck in the world and shake his hand, and then says bad luck and gives him an angle slam, an ankle lock, and then Lars Sullivan finally he comes out. Finally, Lars Sullivan, the freak. Yeah, this. Beast monster man, he comes in the ring face to face with Kurt, stare each other down, and then Lars is, lifts him up. He is pretty freakish looking. Like I'll give he him does that. look like a mo- he looks yeah he looks like uh, looks like a like a mongoloid. Yeah, like halfway between you know like you and I as humans and like a Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah, he's, no, uh, he, he's halfway yeah. between the gene pool. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like well that's always been my biggest question about evolution, right? Is that like I get that we could have evolved from apes. But what about the apes that are currently evolving? Wouldn't they be getting yeah. closer to us? He is that. He is he's that half, like Yeah, he's halfway he's, through. Yeah, he's like a thousand years late or something. So he, He's he, in he, transition. Yeah, he can walk and, you know, like move like a hu- like a <laughs> like a a Homo sapien. Yeah. But he uh has the muscle growth and just and the, the skull appearance. shape of <laughs> <laughs> and facial hair growth pattern. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so he lifts up Angle, slams him down, and then he climbs up to the top rope. And, and quickness uh, somehow. He climbed up to the top rope. Yeah, just like, whoop, he basically and g- and leapt gave up there. that diving headbutt. Um, yeah. which Big old bald on bald. God. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. You know, that's, I great think to, I... that's great to see that um, every everything is, you know, cool on his end. Yeah, he's finally here. I mean... There's some, uh, you know, some online stuff about him, but uh, we won't get too much into that right now. I think some ugly stuff may come out if it ever comes to light, but whatever. He's Ooh, here. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Drama. Drama. But, uh, that's, that's for the dirt corner. We're not, that segment's not alive yet. The dirt corner. I don't know if I want the dirt corner. <laughs> that's to why, be, yeah, it's, to, it's very to tabloid. Be a, to be so. a thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only weird. when it's something uh, when someone deserves it, when someone who deserves it. The dirt corner. Oh, <laughs> that dirt. Sounds so good. Well, we'll have like a fake, uh, fake. Um... It's, oh, it's like a fake show. It's like the show within the show. Yeah, like we have like a fake celebrity do the voice. Like, do you ever do you ever listen to TSN Overdrive? No, what's that? It's uh, yeah, like the TSN AM. You know Bob McCowan and Primetime Sports. Yeah. Yeah. Well, T- it's TSN's version, and they have a segment called like Jerry's. Where they're making fun of Gary Bettman, so they just have this guy pretending to be Gary Bettman and shit like that. Anyways, that would be the dirt coin. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've, we've gone off trail. Off <laughs> we've we've got off the trails here. Off the trails, yeah. But um, uh, back on the trails, we have some some nice women wrestling. Alexa Bliss getting to wrestle here. It's been a long time since the Rumble, I think, since we've seen her in ring action. Uh, um, Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. And uh, yeah, that's what squ- we were talking she, about earlier. She squashes her. She squashes her, but during the match, Bailey showed a couple heel tactics. I thought she grabbed onto the ropes when she was pinning Alexa, and she was like acting a bit more stiff than usual. I like. I don't know. I thought there was a bit of that. Is um, I didn't. You know what? I didn't even notice that. I just. Uh, yeah. I think this was another one. It was of those so matches. quick. Like 
Yeah, God she damn it. pinned See? Alexa and she grabbed onto the ropes with her hand and even Corey was like, hey, what's this? I don't I, know if it was just like a, I don't know. I don't know if it was meant to be a slight tease or what. But yeah, Bailey was getting frustrated that she couldn't get Alexa down and Bliss hit the quick DDT for the win. Um, this would, uh, 100% be a tease. I don't think there'd yeah. be, I don't think there's any way around it. Uh, I didn't, you know what, this was, I think this was one of those matches. I got to stop doing stuff and listening to Monday <laughs> Night Raw. It was a short match anyway, but, uh. yeah, Exactly, right? You hear the match announced, you hear the opening bell, and you're like, okay, I have, like, <laughs> 60 seconds to sit down. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, you know, to kind of, like, regain my attention. Um, yeah, this is exactly it. You know what? And something, uh, an, an, a mean Bailey. I'm not going to yeah. say heel Bailey because I'm just going to say like just Bailey. More of a mean, mean. streak. Yeah. Mean. <laughs> and like this, uh, in, uh, by, I don't know, just by association, this is kind of like a smaller baby face push for Alexa Bliss as well, mm-hmm. which I think the crowd is ready for <clears throat> at some point. Maybe not right away, but the crowd's ready to cheer Alexa Bliss. You know, we can, uh, we, we can make, uh, you know, if, if Bailey turns, we didn't see Sasha Banks this week on, uh, no, I heard, uh, why, why are you reading these dirt sheets, Mike? Come on. This isn't (laughs) that kind of show. This isn't dirt. This is real. She had a scheduled appearance on the Wendy Williams show and she pulled out. Who's that? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Some daytime (laughs) talk show. Yeah. Some daytime, but you know, it's national television. It's a big deal. And uh, apparently she pulled out for some sort of personal reason. I don't know. So maybe that's why she wasn't on weekly television. Okay. These are the things you need to know. So you asked a question. I had an answer. <laughs> that's good, though. It, it, it is actually better than me just, uh, just yelling shit. Yeah. Next week on the dirt corner. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're gonna what? make you're gonna make this a thing now. I think that's what <laughs> well, you're you're gonna you're gonna. Uh, it's it's like sixty seconds of dirt. Or dirt, something, yeah. and it's just, just <laughs> it's quick. You just spout them off like go go, uninterrupted. Sixty seconds of dirt. Yeah, but like Seth Rollins was seen uh, at McDonald's the other day, and yeah, <laughs> yeah CrossFit Jesus at the yeah, Golden Arches. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyways, a Bailey, a Bailey heel turn, and that'd be fun. Uh, Sasha Banks, something or other. Uh, let's fill that void um, in the women's tag division, right? We, out of those four teams, one of them wasn't a team. The other one is a team, and we don't want them to be the team. <laughs> and then there was the other team that we just didn't like the name of. So yeah. let's <laughs> fill somebody else into that void. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think no, we said. Of... I think we were talking about this on the uh, takeover night. Uh, or, you know, um, or maybe we didn't, and I was just thinking about it on my own. Just uh, I think Kyrie Sane and uh, Io Shirari. Yeah, um, they yeah, have they... they have that look together, and not even just like they, they have like similar in ring attire. <laughs> yes, and they have not similar just styles. It has nothing to do with you know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, um, no, I'm saying like they work together better than if you were to just throw Oscar in there, right? Yeah, it's like cool. Why not? You know, I mean, what instead of maybe if we if we can introduce a team to Monday Night Raw or SmackDown as a team, yeah. we'll buy it. Yeah, no, that's what we need more of, like the Iconics, the <laughs> exactly. team who's a team. No, and... n- not just Naomi and Carmella who are suddenly chilling together. Yeah, were they Fire and Desire? Was that there? Was that the... Uh... I think they were Fire and Desire. Yeah, uh, we, we, we kept <laughs> And let's get Absolution anyway. back in the mix. And what happened to the Riot Squad? All of these things, <laughs> they have two teams. I don't think the Riot Squad has been involved in any match that those... Like, tag titles? Tag title pictures. Like other than the had. Elimination Chamber? the first yeah oh yeah they went okay they were in elimination chamber okay i forgot about that yeah but that was yeah that was Liv and logan and there was a fatal four-way and they just made up a team instead of yeah (laughs) and they brought back an old retired woman instead of giving the one that's (laughs) one of the few teams that's been a team for like a year there's like two teams that are still there one that has a name and everything they don't have a similar dress they don't have similar in-ring attire. I'll tell you that much because one well, looks like Liv and Ruby. Liv and Viking. Ruby are at least on. <laughs> yeah, Logan's <laughs> just doing her own thing. But Liv at least changed up. She dyed her hair pink and she got a little more punk, a little more punky, a little more, uh, a little more. She wears Converse now. Yeah, she's got those those overalls that are never over. Never over. Speak talk. Speaking about over. Um, oh, baby. The man. The man is on uh, Monday Night Raw to celebrate. Yeah, she's got the raw belt around her waist, the SmackDown on her shoulder. Fuck, tons of support. Lots of the man signs in this crowd here. 
you know, when uh, I think back on a previous episode, we did ask ourselves the question of how we think she would uh, carry them. Yeah, uh, yeah. If, if, if listeners, if I you think... want to go back on the show and uh, and <laughs> pick out what we actually <laughs> guessed, we'll just be able to. Get I think this is what I figured: one you waist, one, one arm. waist, one. Okay. I think it's better than two arms. You know, it gives you one because you, you need one arm to hold the microphone always, and then the other. Oh, one to that's hold a good the belt. point. Yeah, they don't do. Boob. I mean, some guys have done the double arm, but. Nah, you have to have prefer. big shoulders. Some guys have even done double waist, which Ooh. looks a little weird. You have to have big shoulders to do that, right? Yeah. The double arm. Yeah, um, like John Cena can do so it. So we're, we're, we're one waist, one arm, uh, down to the ring, the man, the champ champ, yeah. the Becky, Becky two champ. Yeah, the crowd's singing along to her song. It was great. Uh, she yeah, deserve uh, Lots of you deserve lots it. Lots of you deserve it. Lots of Becky chance. You're the man. Uh yeah, she goes on talking about how she used to work at a bar down the road nine years, and now here she is. She walked in with nothing and left with everything. And yeah, there you go. Lots of love great. for Becky. She she calls Ronnie a little weirdo again. And when you're done sulking and want more of the man, she'll be here waiting for you to slap your head off your shoulders again. And I also like sure. it when she calls Charlotte Rick's daughter. I think yeah, that's, I think <laughs> yeah, that that's was a good one really too. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> that's Rick's really daughter. funny. I'm sure that's just she gets under her skin. I think it's and really yeah, funny. speaking of Charlotte, she's sure that McMahon's will just hand her a tag team title or something to help her get over losing to Becky again. But as for right now, Becky knows she's a marked woman and she's ready to slap the heads off everyone. And as she's leaving, Lacey Evan comes out. Oh, baby. So I'm like, holy fuck, these two in the same place at once. What's so going to happen? Yeah, Lacey comes down the ramp. She looks over Becky and then she turns to leave and then bam, strikes her with the woman's right. Finally, oh she yes. does. She does something. Something, something big. Like this is a big. This is a big angle for her to jump into. So, yeah, she turns to leave. Becky runs up after her, attacks her. They exchange blows, and yeah, they get a pretty even fight here. Becky tries to lock in the disarmer, but Lacey slips away, and the refs come break it up. So, if this is the next woman's title program, then yeah, I'm in heaven. This is great. Well, we have two of my uh, top women. We have a pay per view coming up, like in two weeks or something. I, I no, I no, we got I don't some know. Time. It's like point. five weeks. We finally get a bit of a break. It's like May 25th, 29th, some shit like that. May 25th? Like, uh, yeah. Or no, that's all. That's double or nothing than like the week before. Yeah. Anyway, we got like a month. We got like and, a month. Uh, there's there's going to be a couple title things. There's uh, two Money in the Bank matches. Yeah. Uh, and we but don't what's know, that saying? Uh, I mean, Lacey Evans is, I mean, they've been teasing her for what feels like three or four months now. Yeah, since the Rumble, she fought there. She and then after the that, Rumble, she just yeah. showed up every week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't know which if this is a title program. We don't know which one she'll be going for, but it doesn't really matter to me. Well, yeah, and you got to wonder, like, how do you? It'll yeah, it'll like be it'll be fun to see because obviously Becky can't hold both belts forever. No, but it'll be funny. I to, it'll be it'll be fun to see how they uh, how they make that happen, or if there's a. Yeah, I know. can see. I think she'll probably lose the SmackDown and then stay on Raw because she's been you know she was on SmackDown for the last like two or three years, freshening mm-hmm. things up. Yeah, have her run raw for about for a while. Yeah, somehow lose the SmackDown but retain the Raw yeah. in a two out of three falls or something like that, or <laughs> or she can even just book know, it. Have... Book it now. Book it now. Yeah. Two out of three falls. The first fall is for <laughs> <laughs> the first fall is for the uh, Raw Women's Championship. Second fall is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah. That's a uh, yeah. That's that's a uh, that would have to be like the McMahon booking in that to make her fight uphill battle. Got to win two falls. Yeah. Oh no. Or triple threat. Uh, yeah, first pin is the raw, second pin, but it could be on anyone, right? So there's, we actually have three yeah. women. Becky could lose both. No, I hope. Well, I'm not saying she could. No, I know. Under the confines of what I'm booking right here. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, there you I'll go. I'll be Let's fine with. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine with they have Lacey have one title and Becky have the other. Boom! <laughs> woo! There you go. Great to see but, Lacey Evans doing some stuff. Um, next up, tag action. Yeah, Ricochet, Aleister Black versus Gable and Rude. Did you notice the entrance here for Aleister Black? Maybe. I may have, I may have skipped <laughs> the, through it, uh, but what, what are you thinking of specifically? The gimmick, it, it, it's, it failed. So he just kind of like, he, he recovered well, though. Like, it didn't raise, but then he just kind of like stood up really okay, quickly. I and thought made... I no- okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought I yeah. noticed something a little bit different, but yeah. I wasn't no, sure. No, he recovered. Was... He recovered well. So it was just a funny little thing, but. So the next line he, on SmackDown, he slipped it was off of the wood. It just didn't raise. I don't think like it just didn't lift up. So he was just instead oh. of laying there, he just like <laughs> he just stood up and then yeah. 
So like the hydraulic like... didn't like hydraulic. Yeah, busted. something. But yeah, he recovered. Good thing and, he's uh... so quick and agile <laughs> and such a good performer. Just like, like just most of the men recover. in these ring. Yeah. Um, this was a guy, great. Ta- yeah, great tag match. Gable and Rude are uh, they're pretty good at being a tag team. Yeah. No, I, I love it, Chad at, Gable. At this point, they are a tag team. Yeah, I mean, hopefully okay. Gable can get a singles push at some point because he's better. He's better than just this tag team. But for now, this is fine. Uh, there was one weird. Did you see that awkward spot when like Rude rolled up Black and Black's ankle like rolled completely over? I did. Yeah, Looked, it was towards, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, towards the, the end of the. It was towards the end of the. Yeah, match. the commentary were like, "Oh, they sold it like he just broke his foot and it looked pretty bad." But no, he appeared to be fine. He kept going after. I think the crowd was doing the wave at one point during this match. Yeah, was, they were. Uh, <laughs> they were. It was, yeah, it was, they, it was they, a hot crowd. Yeah, Shane crap. Black get the win. Yeah, uh, with a code breaker, I think. There's a lot of code breakers this week. Um, Someone else did it, too. Yeah, I think Dream, Velveteen Dream. And is that a shot at Jericho? Is this a shot at Jericho? Someone did it last night. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think everyone's doing it now. I think maybe just they're just like, hey, Jericho, ha Maybe. May, or maybe it's like Vince it's has like like unlocked that move, has been like, yeah, you guys, everyone can fucking use it. You know how, you know how yeah. you, you, he, Vince McMahon just won't let you do a choke slam. <laughs> yeah. You have to or get, you have... let you do a stunner. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was that. Afterwards, Rude was a sore loser and attacked Ricochet. Of course. But that was that. Such uh, a sore loser. There was this one spot, I think it was in this match. And then. No, never mind. It was in a couple matches. We'll talk in a couple other matches. Never mind. Yeah, we, uh, we had a quick Elias backstage, just talking about the great performance he had planned that was ruined by John Cena's and his rap music. So tonight, the McMahons have given him plenty of time to perform his rock opera. Good. And if anyone interrupts, they're going to be hell to pay. So someone big has to interrupt, right? Someone, nice. someone larger than life. One could argue. <laughs> but before that, that, there was um, one had... other quick fucking oh, did, something that else? weird. Did you see the Jack in the Box promo? Oh, yeah. With what like the fuck that was cardboard? that? <laughs> so I think that was for Bray Wyatt. Because like, it seemed it like it was his weird, voice or his yeah. laugh after. And it was like that black background. But yeah, so this like creature pops out with yeah. like this weird head. It was like... <laughs> and like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was one I know, on I, Tuesday I, night, too. I, 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 yeah, I assume it's doing something for someone. I've heard in the, uh, the dirt corner that... <laughs> oh my God, Mike! Jesus Christ! I've heard that uh, Bray Wyatt, yeah, he's getting. Yeah, you have to put on an accent. You have to put on like a like a fifties detective or like, accent if you're yeah, if like you're, if you're taking away to the something. dirt corner. You know, Alex like uh, you like you've got the brimmed hat on and the raincoat in like the underground parking garage, and you're saying like, "Hey, so okay. I hear the Tony's been uh, been working double duty yeah. down at the car wash. If you know what I mean." I need like a I need like a background, like a saxophone in the background. Yeah, like, smokers like, cough, Bray, sax in the back. <laughs> Uh, the sound uh, of uh, I've been a following z- a hot lead for four days straight. It led me to the dirtiest <laughs> corner in town, the kind of place where. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's where we yeah. go when we go to the dirt corner. So take me to the All dirt right. corner. What are you talking? We about? We just invented this within the last twenty minutes. This has become a whole new segment. A whole new segment. We yeah. just wrote it. Bray Wyatt. He's going to be repackaged as some sort of Jack in the Box. I guess. I <laughs> just, <know>. just. A- <laughs> 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 like that's his character. He just pops out, boing boing. He's got like a big cardboard, a big smoky cardboard box that he just kind of like carries <laughs> around him. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen him. Uh, that would make yeah. sense, a guy like that, because I I was trying to think who that could be possibly. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's my. That's that's what I've heard. Yeah, that's what I've heard from the corner, but. Um, the man who won't go away, apparently, Dean Ambrose. He's back again. Yeah, so we have Dean. A- we have Dean Ambrose. It's just a regular Monday night for Dean Ambrose. He'll be at work. No, probably the this next... is his last WWE match. He'll be at work the forever. next Monday, and then the Monday after that. So don't worry, folks. It's just a normal everyday uh, Dean Ambrose match. Uh, big match, big opponent, Bobby big, Lashley. Bobby Lashley, yeah, <laughs> and the man that. of the hour, of course, my man. Yeah, but he's uh, at a loss for words today. So Lashley just grabs the mic from him and says, don't worry, Dean, when you're gone, I'll make sure to take care of your wife for you. And he just looks over at Renee at the announce table. Just stares over at her. And yeah. then uh, he he, he uh, chases after him, a little nasty brawl, ringside, up the ramp, hits him with the DDT up there on the, uh, on the stage at the top of the ramp. Yeah, yeah, and he clears off the announce table, and Leo Rush comes in and just throws a punch at him and <laughs> does no damage. That's funny. <laughs> just like, boom! And then Dean doesn't know. So he goes running away, but that allows the distraction. So Lashley hits a spear, and then the choke slam through the announce table. 
So Lashley suck chance. Thank you, Ambrose. Chances he recovers, and nah, that's the last time we ever see him. See? This this does <laughs> not feel like a going away. This feels like the start of something. Oh, he's you, just been getting he hasn't he's just been getting beat up for the last month. Um and then Renee putting uh, everyone over. This was really funny. Like Renee's over over him, like, Oh, are you okay? And oh, then yeah, checking on her hubby. She leaves and they announce that she like Michael Cole says that Renee is tending like with Dean tending to him. Yeah. And then she comes back like 20 minutes later and then they <laughs> well, but they he's... don't explain that she came back or like yeah well, then weird. they ask her like how is how is he and he's, she's like i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it <laughs> like yeah. it was just real weird she just came back yeah it was like they forgot that they would be down one <laughs> one <laughs> oh, they... side commentator like fuck yeah. Renee. Okay, okay we need to go back speaking um, of weird we had another mojo rally what the himself. fuck was that? Oh, yeah, I also <laughs> thought maybe when I saw the Jack in the Box, that's what I was going to say, or the whatever thing, that maybe after I saw that Mojo Raleigh thing, it's same kind of like black background. Yeah, the whole blackout. Yeah, he had, but, like, uh, his face was weird. I thought maybe. You yeah, know, he had, yeah, the, the mirror was broken and he had like some blue face paint, like veins over his eye. I don't yeah, know. that was weird. And he was ser- <laughs> It was funny, though. My favorite part was when Mojo was just staring and looked serious. The commentary was quiet. And then in the crowd, you just hear someone say, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> he was damn serious? right. Like it was just the perfect like. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> so, yeah. so clear. So that was great. But uh, something that I do think is gonna work is this new Sami Zayn we got. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we missed you, Sammy. He got a nice pop. The crowd's singing along to a song. He cuts a promo quickly. He's he's re- he can really go for a match. So. Finn Balor answers the call. Just the regular Finn Balor. His and, uh, former NXT stable mate or ma- NXT mate. <laughs> yeah, NXT mate. And uh, I think just like me, Finn Balor is excited for the start of the NHL playoffs. Because did you notice his new blue and white gear to represent like, the Toronto Maple Leafs? Are you sure that? I, I think I... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> are you sure he's, not a, sure he's not a Tampa Bay fan? No. No. No, surely not. <laughs> surely he doesn't live in Tampa, probably. No, that was bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they do announce that this match will be for the Intercontinental Championship. So Woo. Finn Balor versus Sami Zayn. Another. Wow. That's two, three. We get like four title matches tonight. It's crazy. <laughs> and one's for two of them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Sami Zayn, he was feeling good. He was acting goofy. He was playing Finn chess like a set of bongos at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Just damn. But, uh, yeah, Finn starts, starts hitting back hard. And, that makes Sammy gets a little bit more serious. Good match. Crowd's into it. They're behind Sammy. He goes for the Haluva kick, but Balor avoids it. Hits the coup de gras to retain the title. But, yeah, good return match. We're happy to see him back. But after the match is when the big shit happens. After the... Uh, he, he, then he then he just he cuts our heel promo. What is this, Sammy? You just got here. Yeah. He you're, was, you're he was already, like, you already... You, you, don't, you didn't miss the fans? Yeah, he's like, this only reinforces what I realized. Toxic environment. This, that, the <laughs> yeah, other. Yeah, he's like, I did not miss any of you. Uh, you're super toxic. He's like, not the McMahons, not the other wrestlers. It's because of the audience. You guys, you're so empty. You All you do is be critics. And yeah, so and it, drops a big see you in hell and then uh, and then yeah. hits hits the open road. <laughs> half the crowd is cheering, half booing. Um, so, yeah, I liked it, though. I like this fire and Sammy. You bring back someone and make them, make them a heel right away? Not even like a, <laughs> not even like a, a second for them to be well, like, they, hey. They, they flipped. I mean, yeah, they, they did the opposite with Kevin Owens. They brought him back and made him baby face right away. And I guess they're doing the opposite with Sammy. See how it goes. So those two can meet up. He'll come around. He'll come around. I've never seen those know. two go at it before. It'd be, <laughs> yeah. it'd be great to have uh, a, a face Kevin Owens mm-hmm. and a heel Sammy. So, okay, they, um, they, someone did like a spike DDT in this match. Just uh, like, yeah, I yeah. Forget so, who, I forget who it was, but they sold it great. But yeah, it Boom. happened uh, again on SmackDown the next night. I forget in which match. I think it may have been that tag, that that big tag match, the three on three. But um, yeah, I think Seth Rollins sells a good DDT. He okay, whoever it looks. Okay, these. Okay, what am I trying to say right now? Um, <laughs> it looks really good. Right? Or what? They look bad 
because nobody what? knows how to film them on either one of these shows. On oh, NXT and on other independent shows, New Japan, when they film the wrestlers, they have more of that wide shot, and you see the full spike of the DDT. Yeah. But then actually at the end of this show, there was a curb stomp on Cesaro. Uh, And it looked the same thing, but they had it so zoomed in that all you could see was kind of Cesaro's little upper body, although he spiked himself up. And it, it's weird. It's like whoever, whoever like this, like, and this is, I know this is such a, like a small, weird, dumb little detail, but when no, I watch man, some, when I watch something like NXT, <laughs> they do film it with that little bit further out view. So you can see the, you can see everybody, you can see the whole person do the whole move or like, sorry, yeah. both people complete the maneuver. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Just weird little detail that I, I, I didn't notice ever. And then I've just seen it <laughs> no, like, you're definitely, definitely not the only one. Um, uh, NXT's production is definitely a lot more crisp, clean, just more sports oriented, less of that bullshit, just zooming in and shaking the camera and all that crap that you don't really need. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't mean it to sound like a. I guess it. I guess it is. No, it's kind definitely of a fair. Lots, that's been because, many complaints. Uh, the man to blame is Kevin Dunn. The he's the man in charge. I mean, of all he's that the man. And he has been for years, right? And yeah. as uh, as the WWE gets more athletic, I think maybe the uh, the production needs to follow suit. Yeah, what I'm looking forward to is when next year the XFL starts. I'm hoping that'll finally pry Vince away from running the ship a bit more, and then Triple H can have full control. And then we can get some NXT production values on Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, but we see we're still gonna have those Vince, but those Vince McMahon. They're still guys. gonna have his finger until he croaks. He's still gonna have his fingerprints on this show. You but. know, yeah, like Baron Corbin, Braun Strowman. Like guys yeah. like that are always gonna be there. <laughs> I gotta say though, Braun's looking good when he when he ripped his shirt off at Mania and he had like fucking abs. I'm like, oh, he's been working out pretty hard. It's cutting. It's it, he's it's he's cutting, cutting season. He's cutting. It's he's cutting doing season. that keto or keto 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 keto. Uh, <laughs> it's not that kind of show either. Sorry, I um, did. Uh, yeah, uh, moving on. I learned. Uh, I did learn the the this new woman backstage. Sarah. Sarah's her name. That blonde. I don't okay. Know. Okay. Sarah's Sarah. Like, Backstage so she's speaking, Sarah. Uh, she's speaking about Becky Lynch when Dana Brooke comes in and cuts a promo about Becky and Lacey and how there's a line of women for to challenge Becky. And she knows she's not in the front, but she's not in the back anymore. So, yeah, there you go, Dana. There you go, Dana. Had, I guess they're Dana pushing had the Dana. little pop at the, uh, at the Battle the Royal. Yeah, yeah. So someone took notice. So, yeah, there you go. Why not? Why not? Right? I mean... We, you know, with with Ronda no more, the same way with uh, with Brock no more, uh, mm-hmm. the whole the field the field has opened up, right? Yeah, like definitely. not That's... just anybody has a chance to take the belt away from Ronda or Brock, but I mean, you know, I'm not saying Becky and Seth are, you know, they're they're not booked like the same way at those, at those that those other two are. So it's uh, yeah, yeah, opens, like they've been the beaten. Field. I they like have it. lost within the last few months, unlike the other. <laughs> yeah, they have. They have too been a victim of fifty-fifty booking <laughs> in the last uh, I don't know five, six years. Yeah. So it's all possible. Yeah, but um, yeah. After this, we had Elias. He's up next. He talks about Cena ruining his WrestleMania again, and in the spirit of Brooklyn, he's going to show everyone how easy it is to rap. So he puts down his guitar and he does a little Cena diss rap. Uh, there's a couple okay lines in here, and then. Let's get to the big line. Yeah, the big line is like, ah, oh, yeah, the next person to interrupt me is a dead man. And then, and then boom. bomb. Okay, so. And then his eyes open. I love the way his eyes just <laughs> boom, popped out of his head. <laughs> He's not bad at that. Yeah, okay, he does a good so <laughs> we hear the bong. We hear the gong. Yeah. Um, we hear slowly, the slowly dong, under- fong. Yeah, thank you, Chong. Long dong of The Undertaker come out. He gets the full seven and a half minute entrance. The smoke, <laughs> yeah. the the crowd the crowd's obviously loving it. He makes his oh, way yeah. uh, he makes his way into the ring uh where um Elias hesitantly stays in the ring. Yeah. He At first he goes to leave, but he changes his mind. He I kinda liked, comes I like back that. in as soon as he turns around, uh takes a big boot and then I yeah. think uh maybe a choke slam and then a tombstone. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think that's the order. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, I loved how right after the tombstone, he covered and the crowd counted to three. <laughs> like yeah, when he just did his yeah, post, like, one, funny. two, three. I was, yeah, was funny. like it mattered. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, so that's, bummer, uh, bummer for Elias. Yeah, I think this is the uh, is this, a one-off? this is your Saudi, Amagi- Saudi Arabia matchup. Because Undertaker can't turn down that dirty Saudi money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's definitely not that kind of show. 
Uh, I, when, uh, when, when I'm is, not saying the Saudi people are money. The oh, Saudi the, people are dirty. I'm saying the money is dirty. <laughs> Blood money, corruption, so government. When, when is, the kind of place when, that would murder a journalist. When is the Saudi show? When is the Saudi uh, show happening? Is I think this it's before in June this Money year. in the Bank? No, it's after. After Money in the Bank. Okay. So yeah. um, I mean, this could just be one and done, nothing at all, but I figure that Undertaker is going to want to be at that show for the money. Yeah, I think Dirty I remember money. hearing like Shawn Michaels made like two, four million dollars. Something for the, uh, crazy, yeah. Something just for absurd. Chris Jericho said it was like his largest payday, one-off payday for a wrestling match. That's insane. That's yeah. insane. He just fucking took. That's it. why they're doing it. Uh, fuck it. They're like whatever. Who cares? Take some heat for a couple of weeks, and then we all fucking run out of here with big bags of money. Yeah, that's what's crazy. And I mean, you know, and with all with all the heat that WWE already gets for, you know, the independent contractor esque status, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's like full fuck. If you had the opportunity to make four million dollars, it's like, yeah, you yeah. have to take that because <laughs> I'm an independent contractor. I need to do that. Yeah. Like unless you're like Daniel Bryan or John Cena where you can just be like, Yeah, I'm not going. But um yeah, the rest Yeah, it's of weird. These I wonder guys... how that works. Or or Sami Zayn where you're just not allowed. <laughs> yeah, you're not welcome yeah, here. That would be sick. Sami Zayn's probably thinking like, "Fuck yeah, I don't have to make up an excuse <laughs> about why I don't want to travel to Saudi Arabia because I'm not yeah. allowed to travel to yeah. Saudi Arabia." <laughs> Way to go, Sami but, Zayn. Um, yeah, hopefully, let's yeah, let's not worry about that show. Let's hope it gets canceled, but it won't. Yeah, but, but, but we got a big main be. event and here. Guess what? We're gonna fucking probably watch it anyways. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna talk the, about it. It'll be Greatest Royal Rumble too. Yeah, Electric we have Boogaloo. to watch it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we're moving on to our main event of the night though that's right it is our winner take all match Kofi Kingston and Seth Rollins yeah uh, WWE Championship Universal Championship oh boy something has to ruin this finish right <laughs> oh boy this isn't going to actually happen that's of all, course yeah. because after um some you know competitive action yeah, I think there was get a little also, bit of a match I think it was through a commercial break also so that kind of sucked yeah um because I'm sure there was a lot of shit off camera uh, yeah, the bar comes in just to yeah, interfere. Come on. And be... They're not even supposed to be here. Exactly. Exactly. Like, <laughs> at least give us some consistency. <laughs> yeah. Like Kofi, it's like, OK, he wants, you know, he's he's there to challenge Rollins. He's got a big thing. Like, why is the bar there? They didn't challenge the. the exactly. Right. Now the they bar's do doing nothing. double duty like two nights a week. I mean, li- I like the bar. I like Seamus and Cesaro. Oh, yeah. We like wrong. the bar. But like come on, bar. you ruined. Like if you're going to ruin the main event, why not have like something bigger? I don't know. <laughs> That's the Lars so bar... Sullivan spot. Yeah, why not? Why not, but, right? Uh, Anyways, um, so we get no contest in that, and then eventually somehow it becomes a tag match. Yeah, Seth grabs a mic. He's <laughs> like, ah, screw you guys. Kofi, let's finish this later. Let's. I got a bone to pick with the bar. I got so. a bone to pick. So okay, Crowd so we, was not happy, though. Uh, we got Kofi and Seth versus the bar. Yeah. Um, we got bullshit chance. Yeah, a lot crowd of got robbed in the main event. They had to. Uh, they had to kind of fight through that, and they did. Yeah, we they want did. beach balls chance. And they did. Yeah, they a came around near the match. end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the match was fine. These guys all know how to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, the crowd was just upset about their main event being taken away. Yeah. A couple of Seth AEW hits the curb stomp. in there, too. Yeah, AEW, yeah. yeah. Curb stomp for the win on Cesaro. Uh, yeah, so him and Kofi win. They celebrate with their world titles to end Raw. And, but then? Um, yeah, that's kind of it, though. The old, the old bait and switch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but we did have the after Raw off air, off air segment. What happened Where Dean Ambrose, Dean Ambrose came out and gave a farewell speech to the crowd with Rollins and Reigns by his side, and yeah, they talk about he talks about how happy he was to see Rollins win the Universal Title and how happy he was to see Reigns beat the shit out of cancer. And then we wait, got one final fist bump. As wait, why was played. Dean giving a speech? I'm confused. Because he's done, done. This is not a work. The work meter is not even out. He's done. He's done. 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 Um. Okay. These are harsh <laughs> so words here from Mike. I'll, I'll, I'll have to check out this clip. I guess. Yeah. I, I can. I can picture it though. I probably did one last little f- uh, fisting. Yeah. One final fist. One final. <laughs> the final fist. Fist out there, boys. The final. Fisting. Well, maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe this is it for Dean Ambrose. Uh, oh, but never say nah. never. But uh, I think if, <laughs> no, I'm not if, Mike, saying you this are is the, Mike. You are the one who says never say never. I no. I, no here's what I'll say. I'm not saying goodbye forever. Just so long for now, Ambrose. If you want to go take two years off, recover, do some shit, come back on a part time basis, maybe yeah. But I definitely don't see him making the jump to AEW. I think he's got respect for Vince McMahon and 
Yeah, his friend, he's right? uh he is a WWE guy through and through. Yeah. And his wife's there, like that'd be awkward. Of for her. course. And and also like but that that yeah, that being said, I think um if AEW were interested in him, they have a lot of money to give him. They have a lot of yeah, money like, to Yeah, like like as we just said, never say never. Like if they were something absurd, like we'll give you ten million dollars to wrestle for two years, like how how could he turn that down? Well, um uh Jericho regarding his contract with AEW said it's the most money he's ever made. Yeah, like and, average out um, per of, per event or per time. Yeah, whatever. like he's not gonna have to work like four or five days a week, and the travel's probably gonna be better. And yeah, that's a lot of possible. money. Yeah. So um, uh, but yeah. So this Dean meter, it's uh, I guess well, let's put it, we're gonna put it on pause for now because it does see <laughs> it, it does sound and appear as though Dean is gone. However. Um, I see maybe like I like I can see taking somebody off air. Like I get that, you know, if when you do need to refresh somebody, I'm gonna say like two months. Oh wow! Yeah, and then he's back. Uh, or like within that amount of time, you know, like I, yeah. I either see him not leaving or like he'll be back because it's all a work. All right, we'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that, exactly. And if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, then we never talk <laughs> about it again. Um, yeah. Mike, I think it's time we get into a little bit of trivia, though. Yeah, quick break, break, then trivia. Um, Halfway break. Yes, yeah, actually, yeah. Before we move over to trivia and then our SmackDown Live review, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with more shooting. Let's shoot, yeah, let's shoot. back we're back folks we're back to part two of this week's shoot but uh but before we get to that i think uh we should um let's let's open up the trivia lines trivia Woo. trivia Woo. open them up open them up okay here we go there fellas uh i got two questions how many how many you got I got two questions Ooh, today. Okay, you you kick it off. You let's let's go. Let's start with you. All right. Uh, we haven't addressed it yet, but there was uh, well, yeah, there was on WrestleMania and SmackDown some tag team title changes. So I'm going tag team championship theme this week. Love it. So out of every, you know, there's been multiple incarnations. There's been Raw SmackDown tag titles. There was just one at one point. You know, just the regular World Tag Titles. All these different iterations. Okay. Um, so which tag team has had the most reigns combined? So just out of all those titles combined, which is the most successful tag team in the history of WWE with the most reigns as a team? Um, like, uh, ev so are we talking most amount, most amount yeah. of days or reigns? No. Reigns. So okay. Like so who's the most champion amount? this champion. many times? How many times have they been tag team champions as a team? Fuck. You don't need to tell me the number. Just the most successful team of all time. Um, I'm going to say it's an older... I'm going to say it's an older team. Um, so I'm going to say... Uh, my guess is going to be an Edge and Christian. That's uh, that's the right era. Very close. I think they were oh, the second most. But oh, really? The winner, yeah. The Dudley boys had eight reigns combined as tag champs. I think Edge and Christian had seven oh, no as, way. as a team as a, of Edge and Christian. Yeah, so that was the first. There you go. How many did the bar and the Usos the have? Bar, the, bars, the bar and Usos are up to five or four each, I think, because I was it's looking crazy, at it. Crazy, yeah. Well, so, here, so the bar has four, but Cesaro has a fifth one with someone else. So okay. he's a five champ. Yeah, so anyways, on to your. That's wild. Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, my question number one. Here we go. Which one of these uh, WWE superstars did not debut on the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania? Mm. Okay, which one did not? Okay. Open up. So uh, first off, <laughs> The Revival. Second off is Umaga. Third is Brock Lesnar. And fourth is Tyler Breeze. Okay. So I remember Umaga coming after WrestleMania and he beat up Ric Flair. Um, Brock Lesnar, I'm pretty sure, the day after Mania. Yeah, after WrestleMania 20, I think. Or no, not 20, 18. Uh, the Revival. I'm trying to remember if the Revival was the day after or if it was like a couple weeks. 
It's between them and Tyler Breeze. Ah, fuck. I'm trying to think Tyler. I don't know. I got, I'm just going to have to. Uh, I'll say Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze is the correct answer right there. All right. right. Oh, you got Sweet. it. You got it. Sweet. Yeah. I, I do those breakdowns where I think out loud. It yeah, was like it was like when I did it was like when I did math <laughs> on, on, on the WrestleMania show. Yeah, yeah, no, it helps, and uh, you know, it tells stories for the audience. There you go, History. It, it, yeah, no, it keeps the audio flowing, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Next keeping up. with the tag team championships, uh, similar to the last question, but now this is for the most. So, which wrestler has had the most tag team championship reigns? So, just you know, if they had ten with this person, five on this, this blah blah oh, blah. Oh God! Who is single handedly has been the most tag team champion in WWE? Or yeah, held the most. Right. The most so yeah, they've won with the most. Like they 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 yeah. they could have won with multiple sets of people. Yeah. Even or even if yeah, either okay. way, they have the most tag title reigns. Whether it was with five people, two people, ten people. The man with the most. The man with the most. Um, God, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to say maybe it is. Maybe it is either Edge or Christian. I'm going to say it's Edge. Ah, you are correct. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you because go. he was on uh, – him and Chris Jericho were yeah. going together at one point. I'll give you, I'll give you the breakdown. Okay, so Edge cool, had cool. 14, 14, seven were with Christian, two with Chris Jericho, two with Chris Benoit. One with Randy Orton, one with Rey Mysterio, and one with Hulk Hogan, believe it or not. So 14 edge, times. Edge Edge, and the Hulkster. Yeah. Edge is like, I think he has the most, like, just reigns period of any person in WWE history. Because he's got, like, 11 world title reigns, a bunch of intercontinental US, all these tag teams in there. So he's, yeah, he's got, he's had like 40 championships or something in his lifetime. Crazy. Like, total. Yeah, but, but like we that. don't. But, but do we like all the ones that we count? Because we don't. Do we count NWA stuff? How does that work? <laughs> well, how does that uh, well, work under Vince for this? For this, I was uh, only counting WWE anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, like for the sake when Ric Flair says sixteen-time world champion, he's counting NWA. Like in the history right, books, right? 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 Like, yeah, he's counting WWE, or he's counting yeah. like the world championship. Yeah. So, like, if someone from that era says I'm a former world champion, they're like, "Yeah, you're correct." You're not a modern world champion. You're not a modern like champ. Champ. But there you go. Not enough beef on you. <laughs> well, <laughs> beefy. Um, beefcake. Okay, Mike. So uh, my final question is going to be this. Uh, so like you said, um, after Raw, Dean Ambrose came out. Just say hi to the audience. As we all know, Dean Ambrose is going to be around for many, many years to come, <laughs> along with his other S.H.I.E.L.D. counterparts. So um, my, total, my question for you right now is, how many championships total do the three members of the S.H.I.E.L.D. have? This is a multiple choicer. I'm going to give you four options. Okay. Okay. So this is total. If you were to add up all of their WWE championships together, does that include? So if someone won it twice, does that count as twice or just one? Um, like, am I just adding the titles themselves or the reigns? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Like, yeah, the reigns also. Yeah. So if someone has won a belt multiple times, that would count multiple times. Okay. Okay. So just every single reign combined between all three men. Between between all three men. You know, what are yeah. their stats really? What are their okay. total stats? Okay, so here we go. Um so I'm gonna give you four options. Yeah. So we have eighteen, twenty four, mm -hmm. twenty, mm -hmm. or thirty. All right. I'll try quick math again. Ma yeah, ma ma <laughs> quick math, man. I love it. It feels good. So Dean, he has one United States, he has one WWE championship. Uh, I think, uh, did Dean do the tag? I'll throw in a tag with Dean. Three for Dean. Seth is a two-time WWE champion, one-time Universal champion, uh, two-tag, United States title, uh, Intercontinental title. Oh, yeah, Dean had the Intercontinentals. Now we're up to 11. <laughs> uh, got Roman had... Uh, Three WWE, uh, one Universal, one United States, one Intercontinental, two tag team. Okay, give me the four options one more time. I think I might have enough. Okay, uh, so you have 18, 
24, yeah. 20, yeah. or 30. Yeah. Okay. It's either 18 or 20. I'm going to say 20. Uh, close, but not the well, right answer. The right answer is 24. Oh, that's why I was off. I missed a couple. You there. missed a couple. Uh, I, you know, your your math was your math was <laughs> close. Uh, I might have double, I, or I think I might have, yeah, missed with that. The tag team. I think you missed I think a I couple tag up. teams. Yeah, um, was like mismatching the partners. You, you uh, anyway, you missed you missed uh, like Seth with Jason Jordan. I think that was uh, oh yeah that overlooked that threw me off. maybe a couple intercontinental reigns because Seth had four of them. But anyways, yeah, yeah super close. Yeah, real close. Yeah, no, the Jason Jordan one, I definitely definitely threw forgot me off about of it, that. But, no, that was a good good fun question. You mean you forgot about uh. Kurt Angle <laughs> like I do, right? <laughs> well, I was hoping that's that's what I was hoping at WrestleMania. Like after the match when Kurt Angle's family was there, I was hoping like Jason, <laughs> Jason Jordan would like, be so like, his his real life family, his real life sperm <laughs> kids, and then his like yeah. fake half black. Son. Yeah, remember when they did the reveal? Kurt Angle was crying like a baby. He yeah. was, uh, <laughs> he was it was real to him. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> I've always wanted a half black son. <laughs> yeah. But there's our trivia. It's too funny. There's your trivia. Okay, folks. I <laughs> uh, hope you liked it. Let's. Uh, you know what's next in the show, though. We're moving on to SmackDown Live from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Don't you dare be so off. The new champ. Um. Of course, we're on SmackDown Live, which you know what that means. This is uh, the house that Kofi Mania built. Yeah. It doesn't have yeah. as much of a rhyme, but we'll get there. Kofi has his own house. So this is SmackDown yeah. Live celebration, of course. Kofi Kingston gets uh, his opening celebration, balloons and all. It's Kofi yeah, Mania. Big rainbow it's, balloons. It's Still sp- running wild. It splits of- a mania. <laughs> yeah, he does that again. Uh, the title looks great around Kofi's waist, I must say. Yeah. More of the you deserve a chance. Of New days. Course. Talking about all the tears of joy that were cried at Mania and Kofi proven to be an A-plus player. And, uh, and then when Biggie does the splits, <laughs> they're like they're like do it again, do it again. And then yeah. like they get him to do something a little bit later on, and he looks at everybody and says, "Sorry guys, like we're we're running like we're running late." Oh already. yeah, yeah, they're they're, they're already <laughs> over time. I was yeah. like, oh, thanks for noticing that. Like someone being like, no, like there is an actual show schedule <laughs> that we gotta <laughs> adhere to. Uh, of course, though, the celebration is interrupted by the heels of the week. The bar, yeah, the bar. Uh, it's the like, bar what's their problem, man? They got boobs. Yeah, fuck off, guys. So, uh, uh, so they they want to take down the new day. They challenge the new day to the main event with their other European friend, who ends up yeah. being uh, Dri. What do they call him? The Glasgow brawler or some shit? I, I thought he was the Scottish psychopath. Oh yeah, wait, who's the Glasgow? Yeah. I'm, else. <laughs> thinking I'm getting my uh, my. Uh... You're, you're, you're getting your Scots confused. <laughs> yeah, you fucking Scots, you y'all. Scots. So we're gonna get that. Rea, as... rea, but uh, we're gonna yeah, get that as crowd... a main event. Yeah, the crowd was chanting "Shut the fuck up" at the bar at one point. I like these rowdy Brooklyn crowds. Um, uh, and yeah, McIntyre has been floating around a little bit, but you know what? Having McIntyre with the bar feels way better. Or, like feels a lot more natural than having Drew McIntyre with. The likes of the Bobby yeah. Lashleys, Ziggler, the and Corbin, uh, yeah, yeah, no, the Bar, and then they Stroman. actually have they, you know, maybe because like Drew all... feels like he could come in and be their leader, and like, yeah, there's a new group. Yeah, he's their he's their muscle, right? Or yeah. imagine if yeah, if, <laughs> if Drew McIntyre just has to be the muscle. The other two guys can be all the other shit, right? Yeah, they'll be like the new Riot Squad, but more successful. And I, they would have a more similar look, as in they all three <laughs> of them wear have the same ring attire. And uh, yeah. well, I think, they're already I think it would be pretty close. They all wear him, speedos, and I think it would be really easy to put Drew McIntyre into the bar's entrance. Yeah, um, oh for sure. He's even got the similar, like even his the big the opening like sounds kind of the same with like a bagpipey yep. type, thing. or maybe just rebrand. You know, yeah. yeah no, the, the superstar the shakeups now. coming next week. I think uh, we probably could see these guys on the same show because what's, so. what's wrong with three people hanging out or what's wrong with Nothing. like i like it i like it when guys kind of band together and you know you have your your cliques your factions exactly it's not about like hey we're best friend we're bffs but it's hey like hey we're all in this together <laughs> you know yeah, what we got each other's back do, we're gonna look out for each other and... of wwe yeah. superstars next up folks we have an exciting 3v3 um plus two managers uh tag match um, yeah. From Alistair Black, Ricochet, and Mustafa Ali against Rusev, Shinsuke, and Andrade. Yeah, fucking Black's entrance pop 
prop worked properly again tonight, so that was good. Okay, good. And, uh, good. I was crowd. Worried. I was crowd was that. singing Nakamura's theme at the beginning, like it's never been sung for the last two years. It hasn't been this since is, they, it's been a while since we heard it like this. So this was nice. This was like back when he first debuted and he was super over. And before wait, they did they not? Up. Did they not play that edited with like the singing version? I mean, I think they still did, but the crowd was but just the crowd singing was still going. Like, yeah, after, I did yeah, that so, too. See, we're singing. So, we're singing Sammy Zayn's music too. Yeah, they're like, singing he, he Becky, comes up later, Sammy. He, he comes up later, and then he's just yeah. like, "No, we're not supposed to sing it." Then, like, yeah, like fuck it, we want to sing. And they do it for Vince McMahon, even if the hand like, "No jazz, no but, jazz." Yeah. We love to sing. We're having fun. We're uh, having fun. Remember when Tommaso Ciampa just didn't have music? Yeah, for, and just came out to silence. Just came out to yeah. silence. Not like the Ziggler record scratch. Yeah, it was better than the record scratch. I <laughs> I didn't like that because <laughs> that's so jarring. It's just like yeah, it's <laughs> stupid. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mustafa Ali, he fit in right here. At one point, they did the triple flip pose. Yeah, that was fun. He had his own little... Sh- he so he like, rolled, what, he rolled they... through the ropes and just kind of ended up yeah, sitting down. And like somersaulted. Yeah. Did they rehearse this? He's like, hey, guys, look. Hey, guys, He's like the I little brother. Like... Watch, watch me. Uh. That being said, though, and like we said about guys banding together, the three of these guys are they all... They do fit, uh, yeah. Super just... in-ring performers. And also uh, Andrade, you know, on, on the other side, on Andrade. On the, Andrade Ricochet, there's a match I'd... Ooh, I'd yeah, like to I see Andrade, uh, Alistair Black. That's a, that'd yeah. be a round uh, two. Is that? Yeah, that's who Black beat for the title, yeah. right? Yeah, Mustafa yeah. Ali and Ricochet. That's something I would also yeah. like well, to all see. These, all, all these things all will be fun. All of these people coming in together, Rusev and Shinsuke but, uh, also, right? Like, yeah, everyone would be fun. And then, uh, anyways, uh, Mustafa Ali, Black, and Ricochet do get the win. Yeah, um, Ali hit the 450 splash. Hit the 450 on Andrade. splash after the match. Like the one guy I don't want to see working with any of these guys <laughs> uh, hits an RKO. <laughs> yeah, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. The Rand Man is standing tall. Yeah, um, but not to be showing up. Then Kevin Owens shows up and uh, hits a stunner on Rusev. So that was his little out of nowhere. That was his out. Uh, yeah, I like the Kevin Owens <laughs> a, lot, a lot more than Randy Orton just yeah. coming yeah, in his no, little I'm, half uh, his vest, uh, his little half vest thing. Hood head. Yeah, uh, he loves that vest. That's all him. I bet. Like no one told him to put that vest on. Like, He's like why? I'm this like thing. why do you think that's? Uh, <laughs> I've, cool. I've never owned a sweater like that. I've never owned a sleeveless. <laughs> no, if I sweater. like if you're gonna buy, it's not that functional seems, at all. Yeah, no, because that seems like all the parts that you want from a sweater, but not on the sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's like sleeves, buying, right. <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the extremities. It's like buying framelit or like glasses without any glass. You know, just the frames. Like it's the frames. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing, bud? Mm. Anyway, uh, this was a fun for TV moment. So yeah, Bl- Alistair Black and Ricochet are going to end up on one of these brands, uh, but maybe, but maybe not together. You know, we could be starting Who knows? singles. That could be the big the breakup, and then they're like, oh, this could, this could be it also, right? So uh, yeah, and all of these people could be moving back and forth. I find it weird. They acknowledge that there's a superstar shakeup, and in a couple promos, people say it. But th- w- what happens in the superstar shakeup? So in the world of WWE, does Vince McMahon just decide? <laughs> or I don't know. is Fit I, they, involved somehow? Or does Shane and <laughs> Steph do they like trade back and forth? Like I want to see the. It's different every year it's because been you different. never know until Fit Finley presses yeah. play on the person's music. So in a way, he's kind of controlling who gets sent where. Yeah, they've literally done it every way you could think of. Like the first year it was like a literal draft. I pick, then you pick, then you pick, then this, and then. The other times it's been a lottery, a roulette wheel, a fucking envelope. A fucking... Because you could just wait. There could be someone in the middle of the ring, like Shane McMahon, going like, and next up we have someone moving over to SmackDown. And then yeah. it, it, it's not. But if Fit presses like the you know the wrong theme song, <laughs> I think it's like officially that person like, now whoops. has to come over to, to SmackDown. <laughs> like regardless, like Seth, like fuck, we got to burn it down on Smack. Okay, yeah. we got to play with this. Well, we're gonna have to rewrite a whole year's plan of story, <laughs> but. I've also heard, um, if I can, t- I'm, I'm going to take us to the dirt corner for a second. Oh, yeah, hey, I see. Hey, did you hear about, uh, did you hear about <laughs> SmackDown moving over to Fox, moving over to Fox yeah. News? Yeah, Friday nights, I heard, is um, going to be the. Uh, yeah, so I heard maybe moving over to Friday, maybe also like uh, extending an extra hour, which two bad ideas. But um, yeah, but the deal, the, the, the deal Friday's c- weird. I mean, the Friday I think would be better than the extra hour. Like Friday's not a good night to watch it live. Like I'm not gonna watch it on a Friday night. But like you're going um, up against a lot of sports too. That's a you know I mean uh, you know throughout, I'm thinking throughout of the winter season. You know? I'm thinking of next year's WrestleMania weekend. Like I'll be like Friday, you get the SmackDown as a go home show, and then you get 
a takeover, and then you get a pay per view, and then a Raw. So it's not. I don't know. Yeah, it's oh, more that's of a, a good, fresh order. That's a than good rather, point. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Um, but Friday night is a bit of a. I don't know. It's a tough night for. On your Friday night, yeah. Uh, yeah. I never. I never even thought of that. What I was more um, thinking. Thursday of, night might be good. I don't know. Thursday night that'd be a good one. What I was more thinking. Uh, I think this. Uh, although I think that's happening in the fall, right? Yeah, like in November the, or something. Whenever the contract officially starts. But I wonder if this superstar shakeup is going to in, be influenced by that. You know, if, if Fox smack, is if like, SmackDown's... we want this person on here, this person on here. Exactly. Why not? Right? They might have. A, yeah, I'm sure they might have a piece. They'd be like, All right, mean, we want this to be our headline. I, I don't know how much money they're getting versus Raw or versus how much money they're making versus. I don't know. But like, I mean, if, let's say if SmackDown is also a three hour show making like, you know, X amount more and Fox yeah. wants Brock Lesnar. Like, guess what? If Brock's coming back, <laughs> he's coming to SmackDown. I'm sure there's something there is something there. Yeah, you know, like the heard. USA Network versus whatever the other network is that that plays it. You know. Yeah, I've also heard. That's a dirty, dirty corner, corner right now from Jesus the corner. Yeah, that's, uh, there's a there's been uh, yeah, it's just a little little rumblings that maybe they want uh, NXT on FS1 as well as part of the deal for Fox. That'd be cool. Like it'll still be NXT. Like they'll still tape it yeah, for the network. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'll just be easier to watch for an hour on what? It would just yeah, it would just be easier to watch for more. Yeah, people. like then if you just had the channel, you could just watch it and that's it takes up cool. an hour block of programming and huh. that'd be good for NXT. I think good exposure. That'd be, oh, that'd like be get, incredible. That'd be incredible. And then like it wouldn't affect anything. We'd still have our takeovers. We'd still have everything else. It would just let more people see them. So yeah, that'd be cool if that happens. Hopefully, yeah. No, hopefully, hopefully some of these changes will uh, end up being good. <sighs> Yeah. Um, back on track here. Back on track here. Uh, next up, we have um, our truth and Carmella coming out to celebrate um, the, the yeah. winner of the Andre, um, the winner, the battle <laughs> royal, women's battle yeah. royal. Truth says, truth says, Carmella defeated Andre the Giant in the Royal Rumble. So I saw that. Yeah, he always gets halfway there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Carmella's like one year ago, she cashed in money in the bank, became champ. Since then, she lost the title, but she gained a friend. So, oh, that's not nice. Um, <laughs> he taught her to let loose and smile again. So, but yeah, let's let's get going. So, of <laughs> course, uh, United States Champion Samoa Joe comes out. Um, yeah, and him and him and Truth bicker yeah, for yeah. a second, and they uh, they yeah. they fight for uh, for a brief period of time until the Coquina Clutch happens, and then it's all over. Yeah. Yeah, and Joe grabs the mic, talks about destroying Ray, and under a minute at WrestleMania, and he can do it to anyone else. And then this is when Braun Strowman comes in. <sighs> I was so not excited. I'm just like, oh, no, <laughs> stay. Stay on your own show, dude. Yeah. We so, have something um, good going here. Don't come and fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, they go back and forth, and then Joe escapes. So is this is this a tease for the the U.S. title program? Uh, Joe versus what Strowman? Hap- what, happened to Andrade, Joe versus Stro- what happened to Andrade Rear Mysterio? Like, I don't oh, want... Th- that's why I want him I over know. on Raw. Let him f- fester in a main title scene that Strowman? he'll never win. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't... Yeah, I don't need this, really, but... Um, Who knows? Yeah. Um, we got another. Uh, we got the Jack in the Box promo again after this. So, so maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe some Bray Wyatt. That's a good. That's a, <laughs> that's a hot take. I would. I would. I could see that. Yeah. Um, but up next, up, uh, we have the newly crowned uh, women's tag Woo! champs. Yes, the Iconics. The Iconics so. come out, uh, and um, they just just like the B and the B and H C. Said <laughs> yeah. just like the BNHC said, they're gonna defend this everywhere, anywhere, and yeah, uh, they're gonna defend it they're... tonight against two local uh, <laughs> undefeated uh, jobs jobbers. Yeah, the best team they could find in Brooklyn, uh, Kristen and Carissa, the Brooklyn Bells. Uh, the Brooklyn Bells. So uh, they, they were called. Yeah, yeah pretty quick. Yeah, so they, quick, easy win. They got the little win. This one was weird for me. <laughs> this was funny like, though. Okay, I I, I get that. People have squash matches over jobbers. I get that. But yeah. why not bring up an NXT thing? Like when you have so much when you have so many people on your payroll, like on the back burner, why not actually well, bring them in? Because, you know, a greasy team can have can get a greasy win and it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, they'll do that eventually. But even like, even you know, if you're gonna bring up your jobbers, just bring up two early, you know, early developmental people. It's just weird, unless what, like Aaliyah and someone else. Sure, like yeah, people who like just signed or something, right? <laughs> Maybe. Have yeah, them I don't know. I guess they're just. They, I don't know. Whatever. That was, that was all I noticed. Uh, My favorite part was we, after. Yeah, the we match, get the match like, though. Anything afterwards? 
yeah, they put the titles around their waist and they were dancing in sync to their theme music. That was great. No, oh, okay, there it was you go. Just funny. There <laughs> Whatever that means. Yes, I shied then, away uh, from the <laughs> exit moment <laughs> where uh, but apparently no, Paige, the show started to really get going. Yeah, Paige was showing watching all this backstage, and then she gets interviewed about this, the superstar shakeup, and she says next week she will be bringing an impressive tag team of her own. So, woo, is this Kyrie saying any? Oh, is this the the tease? Why isn't it? She, or it could, or hopefully, just absolution. Um, well, she teased it in a way that made it seem like a surprise team, like something. I'm hoping it'll be Kyrie and I- Io Shirai because I don't know. Absolutely, that'll that's fuck cool. It. And it gives. I don't it, even know why Paige was. It, it, I thought Paige wasn't in charge anymore. And I think we said this uh, like a long time ago, maybe. Um, but yeah, having Paige in a manager role could be great. Yeah, if that's where they're going because it seemed weird because yeah, she's not a general manager anymore, so she has no power. But if she's a manager, manager, then and there's yeah, not many managers. Can... I mean, you know, like with Brock on, as is Paul Heyman, and Zelina Vega and Lana aren't necessarily like powerful mouthpieces in the same way that a Paul Heyman is. Yeah, so yeah, we don't we don't have presence. anybody doing that. So why not fill that role with Paige? Yeah, yeah, sure. If sure. this is where they're going, why not? Let's see what happens. Next up, we have um, we have the celebration ceremony of Shane McMahon gloating his victory over The Miz <laughs> um, on yeah. Sunday, of course. He's got that World Cup in the ring with him. Yep. Best uh, in the world. A lot of CM Punk chants. Um, <laughs> yeah, after he mentioned the best in the world. Uh, yeah, he says, Miz isn't here tonight. He's tending to George. Shane's got a black eye, and he says that's because Mr. Miz hit him. Yeah, he smacked uh, him when he went squared, yeah, he squared pop. up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's why Shane did what he did. He was just defending himself. Uh, yeah, he brings in the announcer to pick on him again and drags him around the tie, making him call him the best of the world over and over again. I don't know. It was drags him from the top. Dragged on. Drags his tie and makes him keep calling him yeah. best of the world. Up the ramp, up to the top of the ramp. It went on too uh, long for me. It went on. It went on a little too long. It just didn't stop. Shane, um, we still have, yeah, haven't seen the Miz, but yeah, is this someone, like someone so needs this, it to, continues? I guess the feud. Someone continues? needs to slap Shane McMahon, and uh, it's going to continue until the next Saudi Arabia show when they finally defend that World Cup once and for all. <laughs> Who's the best versus the best? Shane versus Miz, final final match. Oh, is that going to be it? So that's probably like next October or something. Whenever that was, November, <laughs> November or something. No, or, oh yeah, I guess they can't do it at the Greatest Royal Rumble. No, uh, yeah, fuck. Probably not, right? Well, maybe like, maybe we'll just throw it at the Rumble. Well, as well. well yeah, or yeah. If you you need the two themes, you need the greatest in yeah. the world. They, the they, cup. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, because you know, no women, so you need to fill that time. <laughs> no women. No women. Uh, uh, next up, though, earlier on in the night, they announced that we were getting a uh, SmackDown Tag Championship match between the Usos and the Hardy Boys of all people. Yeah, so two two of the best tag teams of all time here. Really, Statist- statistically speaking, yeah. Yeah, no, and just based on the eye test, just watching them. I mean, <laughs> just watching. the Hardys aren't in their prime, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, good tag match. Jeff Hardy kicked out of the super kick splash combo, which is usually lethal. So yeah. once that happened, yeah. I'm like, oh, Cra- they got a good react- chance crowd here. Crowd reacted big for that one. Yeah, but uh, eventually they hit a twist of fate swanton bomb combo, and they got the pin to capture the titles. And fall in the win. And that's, yeah, that's what got me researching all the tag title stuff. For of course, no, as soon as he brought it up, I knew. Yeah, because so I was like, oh, I wonder how many they have now. So how, but, many, uh, so yeah. how many do they have now? Have- so the Hardys, I think, were behind both Dudleys and Engine Christian. I think that's like, well, Matt has more than Jeff because he won it with uh, Bray. Right. But as a yeah. team, I think they have five or six or something. But between, yeah, yeah. the the between the, the, the two, the two of them, yeah, him. yeah. Well, that's um, uh, that's great. But after the match, though, uh, the Freak comes back, yeah, Lars the Sullivan, beast. Um, and he hits both men with. Uh, they're calling it a freak accident. Yeah, it's kind of like a, choke a big slam, slam, power slam. Yeah, thing. He takes them both out on his own, and the crowd boos. And yeah, so there you go. He's just gonna do that for a little while. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, Lars, Lars and Braun, let them do a thing. Come on, let's let's put over. Eventually, Lars. yeah. I think beast versus beast. They always, yeah, it'll come down to that eventually. Because he's that Hopefully, he's that kind of big, where you know. You can't bring, yeah. you can't bring up Adam Cole and have him go up against <laughs> Lars Sullivan. Just no, that be no. I hope not. He's just so <sighs> big. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, after this, we got the man Becky Lynch coming out, 
crowd's hyped and chanting again, she's, singing her song. She's pulling double duty. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a uh, yeah, it's a dual champion. She's got to do that for now. She's do. the first ever woman's yeah. dual champ, 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 champ. two belts. <laughs> uh, yeah, she talks about how she tried to celebrate on Raw until Lacey Evans interrupted her. She finally got her gloves dirty, which reminds Becky that she has two targets on her back. She's always got to be looking over her shoulders. So, uh, yeah, bring it on, though. Every last woman. She wants to. She wants this to be the most talked about run in all of WWE. Every last woman, especially. Yeah. God damn it. So, you know it. Lacey Evans is back. Lacey Evans yeah. is also pulling double duty because she wants one or both of those championships. She comes Neither up. Neither are. And smacks, on her way back up, she smacks the last kicker. Last kicker? Is that what you call it? Yeah. Smash she the last her kicker. That's tough to say. With the woman's right. The woman's right. Is Hello. that what it's called? Just her punch? That's her finisher. Just boom! That powerful. Yeah, she calls it the woman's right. The so. woman's right. Lacey Evans getting a big program, it looks like. There you go. For one or both. For money in the bank. Yeah, money in the something. bank. One money in the, the bank? No, nah, probably I mean, just one. She could be a briefcase winner of that also. You know? Ooh, so. maybe. Yeah. But um, either way, I'm happy for her. I don't you know I've been wanting this for months. <laughs> well, yeah, finally, but um, let's get her in the ring, right? Yeah, like I've seen her wrestle in NXT. I know she can fight, but yeah, we I'd re- I do want to see her wrestling some matches before this uh, Becky title match. Obviously, that's what it is. You kind of need that too. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I feel go, like have her the, go in I there. Like and... The general audience who doesn't who's never seen Lacey Evans, if you have all the hype and then the match is subpar, you're like, oh, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> but if you have, yeah. uh, you know, get her some in-ring action. Uh, yeah, yeah, build hopefully. her up a little let bit. Her go, you know let her saying? go fight Naomi or we something. We are ready. Right. Let's build. Let her fight this Lana, up. Naomi, and people like that. Right. Uh, next up, our main build event up. where we had the New Day taking on the Bar and Dri. 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 Um, this. Uh, this 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 was this was a better way to celebrate Kingston's championship win. Of course, the New Day gets the win. Yeah. Well, right before the match, we had a quick Sami Zayn moment. Oh yeah, he just, yeah. He came out, crowd was singing again. He just looks around. He, right, he's like, you don't. He looks like he's gonna. He's, he's like, ah, you're not worth it. And he drops the mic. So, right, yeah, nothing happens. too. Cr- but uh, yeah, no. Kofi got the win with the Trouble in Paradise mm-hmm. celebration. He gets the family in the ring again. Everyone's happy. Yeah, which, uh, yeah. Th- this this was a better celebration. Let the music play out. Let him and his family dance around. Uh, they, yeah, they won as yeah, a team. Little kids. Yeah, the bar yeah, good was stuff. mostly they got the a title in there. They're all dancing. Bars were mostly just things to be punched at. Yeah. Uh, apparently, during the main event, Drew might have gotten injured because someone said like during the I didn't even notice it really watching, but during one of the commercial breaks, he just kind of walked to the back and left, and he never came back and. Like, it wasn't played for storyline or anything like that. He just kind of, yeah. <laughs> He's like, just so, walked up the ramp and... Or no, like, he went, like, even, like, he went through the crowd section, just, like, immediately to the back. So, I don't know if he... I don't know. People, someone in the live crowd commented on it and said it looked kind of strange. So, who knows? Really? Could be, hopefully not. It'd be a bad week for injuries. Hopefully not. Yeah, totally. Um, hopefully not. Of course, the bar loses. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we needed. Happy ending. There's your SmackDown after Mania. So now then we next gotta, week, the reset begins. The superstar shakeup, right? That's what we just got to wait for. Um, yeah. So we're real excited, real excited to see where that goes next week. Yeah, because I mean that usually include. I mean, we have had a lot of call ups recently, anyways. But there might be even more, like the Kyrie EOE speculation. Of course, more call ups and uh, call downs. To be honest, let's let's uh, let's, <laughs> shed, be, let's yeah, shed there some is of a this couple roster, people. <laughs> and um, <laughs> you know, let's let's have them do that. Back to developmental, yeah. you know. No, there are. I wouldn't even call it a call down. Like some people going to NXT would be better for them, and it'd be fun. It could fun be fun. It could matchups. be fun. Okay, Mike, we have two more things to do before. Oh my God, the show is over. Okay, so let's get something over. Put it over. Okay, Mike, what do you got to put over this week? All right. So, uh, yeah, one of the big things on the weekend, the the incident, we all know, we all saw the Bret Hart, uh, the attack, the attack on Bret Hart. That's not what I'm putting over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting over attacking, uh, atta- assaulting But no, there was, uh, I don't know if you follow Zack Ryder on any of his Instagram or anything like that. No. 
No. Anyways, so he posted a picture of him and Brett, the hitman. You know, just Ryder's got his one hand on Brett's shoulder and pointing at him. You know, typical, typical, typical po- picture with your hero. Hey guys, yeah, or with my yeah. buddy. <laughs> and so we all know uh, one of the, one of the yeah Scott Dawson got involved. He was one of the guys that went and uppercutted and the smashed guy him, that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so Zach Ryder posts this picture of him and the Bret Hart with his hand on his shoulder, and uh, the second comment down is Scott Dawson just saying. Don't touch him, asshole. <laughs> and <laughs> I just thought that was so fucking funny. So I have to put it over. <laughs> if you get a chance, look up uh, Zach Ryder's Instagram just to see. Like the first comment is Kurt Hawkins saying, damn, jealous. And then the Damn's second comment is Scott Dawson. <laughs> Don't touch him, asshole. That's funny. So That's Scott funny. Dawson playing into real life. Funny shit. <laughs> That's a good one. So there you go. What are you putting over? over? This week, you know what I'm putting over, Mike? Uh, we've all, you know, you, we've all worked a job. We've all been at work and we've been like, asked. we've all done the job. We've all worked a job, (laughs) been at work and maybe like our boss or something has asked us to do something that maybe we didn't really want to do, but it's not that it's like, it's difficult. It's just kind of like someone else could maybe do it a little bit better. And it's kind (laughs) of like maybe a pain for you to do. Yeah. Um, so I'm putting over that ring announcer. You know what? Like you get hired to be a ring announcer. And then next thing you know, you're getting dragged by your, <laughs> <laughs> your yeah, tie, tie all up around, in yeah. front of ten, you know, a million, couple million people on television yeah. and stuff like that. So uh, you know what? I, we've, I, 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 I could feel his pain when he was trying to climb through the ring rope. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, you, I've been asked to do shit at work before too, man. I get it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm putting, so I'm putting that guy over. You know his name? Greg Hamilton. Greg Hamilton. There Greg you go. Hamilton. Yep. There you go, buddy. Uh, I, re- I really, app- I really appreciate that, Greg. Yeah, and he is a good ring announcer too. He does a good job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's a good job. Uh, he's, he's, he. Yeah, he's, he's also good at ring announcing. Yeah. But, but we're not putting that over. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not putting that over. You know, um, no, not tonight. There you go, Mike. Okay, cool. So uh, we have one more thing to do here on the show. It is. The wrestler of the week. It's the wrestler of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Of the week. Of the week. The wrestler of the week. Oh, yeah. Okay, what do Mike. you got this week? Who do I have for wrestler of the week? You know what? There wasn't a lot of wrestling this week. Yeah, it felt like you know. I mean, uh, this of course this is the Raw and SmackDown after Mania, so it's a lot of a lot of you know. Let's just let's just get it all out there in the open. Uh, so um, what do we have to say though? I think my guy of the week is going to be Lars Sullivan, um, because it's great to see somebody some in the in the controversial light of you know how how's he feeling. How's his yeah. health, and to see someone come back and uh, really just kind of shake it up, right? Why not? Let's let's shake it up. Yeah, see where he goes from here. Let's see where, see he, where goes. he goes from here. Uh, Mike, who do you have this week? All right, yeah. So on our WrestleMania one, we did all. We already did all the big shit with the Kofi. We both picked Kofi. So that's not right. Well, so I this mean, week it, it could count. I mean, you could still pick. Something. No, no, no. We are no. You know. This week I'm giving it to Lacey Evans. She made a big impact. She finally did her thing. After all this time, you know, I, I I never gave her any awards. I've been supporting her, but I I haven't been biased. So this is her week. This is week for Lacey Evans. There you go. Exactly. Something new. <laughs> Something new. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. Something just new. Keep it fresh, and that's all. That's all we want. Let's just keep it fresh. Yeah. No, that's a big angle. You know, she waited and waited and waited, and then when she finally picked her spot, you know, you can't pick a bigger one than the man Becky, right? So right now you can't. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Going after the top I'm, face. I'm excited for that. The I'm top excited. face. Yeah. The sassy Southern Belle versus the man. You know, it's like a match made in heaven for me. And what happened to Charlotte? We didn't even see Charlotte at all. Uh, she's, I don't know. That ah, plastic little dope face. <laughs> she's going to go. Let's hope we'll see her back, though, soon. Okay, Mike, you have anything else, to, uh, <laughs> anything else you want to scrounge around in those dirty, dirty corners of yours? <laughs> no, uh, nothing really. Okay, I mean, next week, just compile all your dirt for one little. Write the theme song. <laughs> the dirt corner. Compile. We'll see what compile we... the dirt, and that's what it is. If you want, like sixty seconds. Here's corner. what you're gonna do. 
it's just going to be like all the dirt of the week. Yeah, it's it's going to be sixty seconds straight of just like pop, pop, pop. You know, just one <laughs> one or two liners of the dirt that's going on, uninterrupted, just to get it all out of the system. <laughs> all right, we'll see. We'll see um, if we can get and that. Ma- maybe make like a sixty second like loop of like you know like a like a trivia background. Yeah, something to plan the loop, background. you know, and then it's just you just going one bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if we can get that together. That'll be funny. We will definitely get that together. Okay, folks, remember to yeah, uh, rate, review, like, and subscribe to the show on all the things, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, even YouTube. Mm. You can put it on YouTube when, uh, you know, it, it all comes up in a playlist very nicely there. Uh, of course, let us know uh, Let us know what you think of the new logo. Hell yeah. New logo looks fantastic. That is the Shoot Brothers podcast. Okay, Mikey, that's it for me this week. Yeah, back on back on a regular schedule now. We had three episodes in one week here, and now we're back to our weekly. Now we're back weekly, back uh, to the week. weekly show, folks. Thanks for sticking with us through all that is WrestleMania weekend and the fallout. We'll be back next week with uh, yeah. the shakeup. The shakeup. So Bye-bye. things there's always something. There's, there's never a, never a day off in wrestling. So let's let's go. Let's hope. This- oh, and uh, cool on quick note, both of our Toronto uh, Raptors <laughs> and Toronto Maple <laughs> Leafs here. The playoffs starting officially. NHL playoffs start tonight. The Leafs play tomorrow, Thursday night. The Raptors start Saturday, right? Um, Have they announced the time? Or is it, I don't know. I, guess what, I don't know not... what time it is. I think tonight is the last game of the NBA regular season. Okay, so I guess they can't officially official. Or no, there's two more days left. Okay, yeah. but the playoffs do start Saturday for the Raptors. I think the Raptors are done. Yeah, we're good. And they they usually play during the daytime on a Saturday. I think, which I like. <sighs> um, like get a, yeah, well, it, like a uh, four o'clock knows? game or something. I think or? it's going to depend who we play. Because we're kind uh-huh. of, it's in play. To work, we're like, it could be Orlando, Brooklyn, yeah. Charlotte. But we clinched home court last night, right? We clinched home court through at least two rounds. So the yeah. the Bucks have. I thought I thought it was. I thought I heard we clinched. If it was in the finals, we clinched. Or just. Oh, so I don't know. Would it be the first, second, and finals? You would have home court, but not in the third. Um, or am I confused? Okay, wait. Let, let me think. Let me think about the standings right now. No, I think. Okay, so. We clinched, like, uh, it, it, so in the Eastern Conference Finals, Milwaukee yeah. has better record thus, so they have uh, home court advantage there. But in an NBA final situation, we have a better record than all the teams in the West. Yeah, that's what so, I. So yeah, in an NBA, okay, yeah, in an NBA final. So situation, in the NBA finals, we have home court. So yeah, we have home court Which advantage be, when we are know, playing Golden State. Golden State. Yeah, but so, still, that that little advantage. That's pretty sick. <laughs> that's pretty sick. And we're going to save that for next week's uh, basketball talk. Yeah, well, by then we'll have a couple games in for uh, and hockey talk. We'll, we'll have puck talk and ball talk. Uh, oh, my God. Where are we going to fit it in? The show is already oh, 90 this, minutes. It's jam-packed. <laughs> it's jam. Well, yeah, it's jam-packed. Good show. Money's worth. Go Leafs go. Go Raptors go. That's right. You heard it here, folks. Do it for your city. Do it for your, your, your country. First, folks. Okay. Uh, be sure yeah. to come back next week when uh, when the superstar steak up. The superstar steak yeah. up. Steaks and weights, oh. baby. Bye <laughs> bye. Okay. See you later. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>